Hello, this is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambone Investigative Journalist. I have a special SOS for the people of the United States and Mexico who have been forcibly injected and who are being forcibly injected in the United States. It has recently come to my attention that I have had a, a small stroke. Actually, I recall going to the doctor now. I'm getting better. It was in 2005. I had it checked. I was injected and knocked unconscious at Flagstaff Medical Center in 2004, early 2004, Flagstaff, Arizona. They said I was speaking too quickly. That's why they injected me. The true reason is because I'm an investigative journalist on government crimes and finance and medicine. I was at one time a Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation bank examiner in San Francisco. A regional director had been killed. I have discovered that when I was knocked unconscious in 2004 that I was most likely given electric shock. I have had, have had significant memory loss, I have had a small stroke, and I have symptoms of tardate dyskinesia. It comes from overdoses of Haldol and Halperidol. The Mexican immigrant workers are being injected forcibly coming across the fence or the border. I've heard rumors that some of the women have been raped while they were unconscious. There's also the topic of body abduction and the sale of organs. Recently I was in Bakersfield, California. You can see this on Quatrain's 12 page at Mobile Audit Club. The Quatrain's 12 page at Mobile Audit Club. I was in Bakersfield, California with this computer doing a broadcast or actually doing just internet research at a Starbucks. Someone came in and then they, uh, there was a couple of guys that left when I was harassing me. And then someone came back. I couldn't tell if it was a man or woman. Obviously dressed in clothes, but they stood by with a small handheld device. My computer soon crashed. My firewall crashed, and I had to restore to an earlier date. We should be very wary of this. The government of the United States is in fact controlled by an informal government, a dictatorship of money. The formal government, including Obama and all senators, are basically bought and paid for. I'm speaking of the material positions. Material as in the accounting or a law term. Also, regarding those things, forgive me, I have had a stroke in the past. My mind tends to drift. Luckily, I was given the ability to remember things by the Creator, such as I was given a number, a middle number of 911 in the year of 2001. That was before 9-11. A person where I'd worked at Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation told me right after the Y2K incident that I had dug myself a hole that I could not get out of. I later asked myself, as Hunter S. Thompson would, am I in the abyss? If I am in a hole I cannot get out of, am I in the abyss? If so, what? I looked up Revelations 9.11. I'm not sure how they say this. Revelation 9.11 said that he will guard over those who are basically incapable of guarding over themselves. And that is what I have tried to do. Sheriff Jack Tillman of Mobile, Alabama was starving inmates with this taking of inmate food funds at least up to $360,000. It was in 2001. I reported it. On 4-23-2001, the LAVA Westwood Police in Los Angeles, in, near Santa Monica in Westwood. That was on 4-23-2001. I reported that he was stealing. I ran tests. They did not bring it up in a court session that I had. On 4-3-2001, I went to report Sheriff Jack Tillman's thievery. He stopped me at the gate, the Mobile, Alabama City Council. He demanded my gun, gun permit or be arrested. 
Rather than being drug off and injected, I gave him my gun permit. They later used this against me when I was moving, and I had my guns in my vehicle. I had survived an attack in February of 2001, and I had reported it to the government. I had run tests to see if they were murderers associated with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation in San Francisco, where I had worked. I had run tests. By running those tests, I would sent emails to them telling them I knew of money laundering and other banking crimes originating from the San Francisco and the Sacramento offices of the FDIC. The Secret Service nor the FBI answered my calls. No one answered my calls. Later, Sheriff Jack Tillman was terminated in 2006, but it was after I had been forcibly injected in 2001 at LAVA Westwood and at Flagstaff Medical Center in 2004. I had absolutely no weapons on me whatsoever in 2004. I had simply gone to a hospital to get a, check, a report or get a um, medical treatment of a burn on my neck. In a way, I wanted to test what would happen to see if I reported toxic waste into Arizona authorities if it was in New Mexico. Do not report it. They will eject you and hold you down. I am extremely damaged. I would hope to sue. I've only gotten my health back enough in the past, past year, just recently, to be able to move forward with this. This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambone, alias St. Rambone, a mobile audit club, investigative journalist on governmental crimes and finance and medicine. Take a look at Quatrains 12 on Mobile Audit Club. See the revelation 9.11. We are not animals, we are human beings. This planet is like a prison and it's become like a hell. We all make our prayers. My prayer is God give us shelter. 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 